Yo guys, what's good, man? It's your boy Dre. Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys for tuning in. First thing first, man, I want to give a shout out to all my notification Wavy Squad. If you have the bell clicked, then you have your notifications on. So shout out to y'all, man. I really appreciate y'all. Um, today's video, as you can tell by the title, yes, I'm going to be showing you guys how to how to tie a velvet durag. Okay. Um, if you're a beginner and you have a velvet durag, you don't know how to tie it. I'm gonna show you how, okay? Um, if you don't have velvet durags, I'm gonna show you how to tie a velvet durag, all right? So I appreciate every single one of you guys for the support. Thank you guys for showing love. Thank you guys for, you know, just being great. You know, you guys show love to me, you know, I'll be able to show love back and, you know, provide you guys with these videos, you know? So help me help me help you, you know what I'm saying? So um, I have the velvet durag. If you have not seen my video, yesterday's video is in the description down below. Okay, go follow my social medias, they're down below. Make sure you follow me on Instagram because that's like the fastest way to contact me, Instagram. So it's down below, go click it. Um, so I have the velvet durag, okay? I'm gonna show my, my beginners how to tie a velvet durag. Now, a velvet du these durags are different from any other fabric durag. Like they're bigger, they're, they're much heavier, all right? So I'm gonna show you guys two ways you can tie the do rags on. All right, so let's let's get to it. <clears throat> so of course, all do rags you want to um, have them inside out, right? You guys want to have them inside out, correct? Correct, because you don't want to get that line. Nobody wants that line on their forehead. So these velvet do rags are rough, dude. They're very rough. All right. Um, so you gotta make sure it's on right, cause if it's not on right, you gotta feel it like pulling your hair. All right. So with these, okay, you can line it up at your forehead, but you're gonna have so much left over in the back. There's all this left over, right? Or you can easily just fit it to where it fits your, your you know, your head, which means right in the middle, it'll come down here to my eyes. You know, that's how much, that's how big this durag is, bro. Like, man, so the first one, we're gonna start it at the forehead. All right, cause these, if you don't have a velvet durag and you decide to get one, they're big, okay? So these ones you could, is you can easily just put at your forehead, tie it from the back. You don't gotta wrap it around, all right? Cause they're so huge, you know? So once you got a good pull, tie it from the back, pull it down the back, okay. Pull it down on the sides, on this side. All right, and boom, it's on, okay. It's on and there's so much back here, dude, like there's a lot going on back here. All right, so that's this is one way you can put on a belly durag. It looks good, fits good, all right. And then, you know, all this in the back, you could just, just um put it in the middle of this flap and then just tie it up or whatever but you have so much left dude so it's like you know what the heck you know um the other way is okay the other way is we're gonna we're gonna fully put this on we're gonna fully put it on all right we fully got it on all right now you can fold it you can fold it to where like it's like below like your, I mean above like your eyebrows. Fold it. And then this one you could tie it around. All right, it's real easy. Pretty sure you guys know how to tie the strings around. It's pretty easy, man. All right. Tie it all the way around. Now you don't have all that extra hanging on the back. Tie it. Pull it down the back, the sides. All right. You know, fix your strings right here. Now we're in the game. So now we have it fully tied on. You have all this. You don't really have that much left. Like the last, like the the first one I showed you guys on how to tie it, you had so much back there, but since you folded half of it up, you only have a little bit back there. So you you can just put it 
put it in just like that, dude. The other one, it was so much back there, you know? Um, so, it's easy to tie these durags, they're just huge, all right? A lot of you don't have velvet durags, but eventually you're gonna get them, okay? So, um, they're big, dude. If you have a small head, they're big. You only can tie them two, di two different ways, you know? Put it to your, your uh, the top of your eyebrows, tie it. Or you can put it past your, your eyes, fold it up, bring everything around. All right, so those are the two ways on how to tie a do-rag, all right? If you're a beginner and you want a velvet do-rag, there you go. If you're not a beginner and you think about getting a velvet do-rag, there you go, man. There's two different ways you can tie your do-rag, all right? So thank you guys so much for watching. It's a short video. I like to be, you know, I like to get straight to it. Show you guys how to tie a velvet do-rag. Um, there's links down below on how to tie a silky do-rag. So if you don't have a velvet do-rag and you want to get one, now you know how to tie it two different ways. Whichever way is best for you, okay? Um, the second way, that's what's best for me, but me personally, I don't wear velvet do-rags because they're, they're super big, they're super big on me. So uh, I'm a silky person. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody who just started waving, send them to my channel, all right? If, if, if they're crochet wavers, send them to my channel. I got everything for beginners. How to brush for beginners, the right products, brushes, do-rags, all that. I just made this video for, you know, the beginners, all right? Um, if you learned from this video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I know it's short, but thank you guys so much for watching my video. And as always, man, if you ain't brushing, I'm brushing, all right? I'm out.